Hello there, and welcome back to another episode of our Wizard 101 Let's Play. My name is Slytherin Knight, and I am so happy you could join me. So, last we left off, we uh, were sent to talk to Professor Chester Drawers, <laughs> and he's being very, very suspicious. And with a quest name like Step Into My Parlor, this can only be a trap. Let's see what's going on. Yeah, that doesn't look good. That does not look good at all, now does it? Mm -mm. That is a hole in the wall. <laughs> Alright, enough grandstanding. We all know what's going on here. Well, it may not be as simple as we think, but... I hadn't anticipated you discovering my connection to the Green Men so soon. You won't leave here to warn the others. So, before we start combat, because that you know that starts a timer, Chester Drawers is a life rank 5 boss enemy, and he is a cheat boss. His cheat is pretty simple. If on the third round of combat he does not have any form of trap placed on him, he will set up, he will cast a pipless, a, a zero pip cost helping hands spell, which has a very minor heal to start off with, and then a heal over time effect, and it will only be targeting him. But, so, yeah, if you can, turn one, turn two. Time to review your homework. Today's subject, traps. And he even tells you, like, put a trap, they're saying put a trap on him, is what he's saying there, so I'm going to place a trap on him. They're all going to do traps? Wow, they really did. That's interesting. So, now that he has a trap, he will not use his cheat until I get rid of that trap, so I'm going to start boosting myself. As a death character, I'm really not worried about this fight. Though for for someone that's at level, like you know, so for someone who's at level, this can be a very daunting fight because it's a three on one. You know, it's a three on one ambush, so it can be daunting. <laughs> It would see none of them, thankfully, uh, set up any death shields or spirit armor or anything like that, so that is awesome. Hopefully, my ship of fools will be able to take them out. Tail skip. Myself. Let me get out of this place. Speak to me in the street. Yep, see, not as it seems. He is being controlled. Influenced, I think is a better word. But the first time I did that, um did that um that fight, it was it was definitely a like, oh wow, a three on one with some fairly tanky enemies, but but ultimately, not too, no, not too bad. All right, Chester, explain yourself. I have never been so thankful for a drubbing, let me tell you. The magical defeat you inflicted has broken the enthrallment Lord Bramble has over me for a while. I will tell you what I can before his spell reasserts itself. Lord Bramble is the culprit, the one behind the theft. 
Lord Bramble wants to reclaim all of Wisteria to the wild, overgrown state it was before Pigswick Academy was founded. He wants to discredit Pigswick and to pit Ravenwood against it. That is why he chose to have me frame you for the theft. You must go to Tanglewood Way and defeat Lord Bramble in his tower. He has my soul trapped in a wooden doll. Bring it to me. It may be that he still has the Spiral Cup in his keeping. If it has not been smashed to bits, it will be in Bramble's tower. All right. On we go. So this episode should um, result in the completion of Wisteria. It is a, it's a side world, so yeah, it's not nearly going to be as long as uh, our time in the other worlds. Probably about half as long, to be honest. Like, this is uh, the fifth part. Yeah, this is what. Yeah, this is part five of our time in Wisteria, whereas the last, like Wizard City, took fourteen parts. Um, Crocotopia took uh, thirteen, I think. Marleybone's probably going to take something similar. So yeah, Wisteria is definitely going to be a not not is not a um, is an exception to the rule of how long of how long we'll spend in various worlds. And here we go. Now, for those of you that act, that care about this kind of stuff, um, there is a like you can pick this up, the spiral tree. I'm not going to because I don't really care about the decorations. It would just get either sold or eat or eaten by my pet, so I'm not going to pick it up. Can I go through? No, I can't. I have to go all the way back around. All right, but anyway. Next is our fight with Lord Bramble. There is one. Uh, the fourth Pigswick Papers is in this tower as well. So we'll be completing all kinds of stuff, won't we? I knew that Draws was weak and would fail me. But I did not expect him to fall to a mere child. Come and face your doom. Alright. He is another life rank 5 boss enemy with a green man minion. There's the spiral cup right over there. Oh, we get to start. Excellent. Uh, 1080 health. Not, not too bad. I'm going to go ahead and set up a feint on him. Yeah, we're going to set up a feint. Just to ensure I can take him out. That's a death shield. Of course it is. Looks like we'll be contending with the green man for a little bit longer than I would prefer. Um, get rid of one of those and we'll cast, and we'll cast one. That really should be everything I need in terms of uh, damage. So let's go ahead and ship a fools. And as you can tell, the crit was definitely on Bramble. Nothing on the green man. Unfortunate, but yeah, whatever. Go ahead and do this, and we'll probably be able to take him out. Take out the green man with a Banshee next. So yeah, let's go ahead and Banshee. And if it's not enough, we'll hit him with a, uh, a Minor Scorch. <laughs> Plenty. 
And that is Lord, Lord Bramble. Bramble drops a small wooden doll, the one Professor Drawer spoke of. And there it is, the Spyro Cup. Excellent. Let's pick up the cup. And read the papers. To spread the word of Pigswick's educational innovations, Headmaster Pigswick started a magical tournament. Students representing all of the different schools of magic from across the spiral were invited to compete. The Spiral Cup was selected as the grand prize, a fitting symbol of magic supremacy and skill. Though in the past, it has been won by Ravenwood and Mushu schools, for many years the cup has been claimed by Pigswick. Coincidentally, the years Pigswick won the Spiral <laughs> Cup were also years in which no other schools appeared to compete. Yeah, because there's just, there's just no way that Pigswick can win with how they explain, like, you know, students are expected just to figure it out as they go. It's like, really? Just really? <laughs> anyway, back to the academy. Back to the academy. Let's go give give Professor Drawers his soul back. Very odd sentence that. You have defeated Lord Bramble and put a stop to his madness. And with that wooden doll, my soul is now mine again. Go tell Headmistress Crisp that the Spiral Cup is recovered, and the dastardly plot is at an end. Excellent. Yeah, you know, just recovering the spiral cup and oh yeah, saving all of you. <laughs> I'm relieved to put the matter of the missing spiral cup behind us, and I apologize for our suspicions. Could you be so kind as to return the cup to the tournament hall and to speak to Master Glenn Dimming about your final match? Oh, we do have a quest for her. Cool. You've proved your use helping out students and staff. How about helping out a few members of our faculty? See, here's... I talked about it last episode, but this is where it's like... Yeah, One she'll say. reason we sponsor this tournament is to provide less privileged students a chance at improving their education. Present yourself to Professors Price, Burble, and Bunch and see what aid you can provide. Return to me when you're done. So I am going to do that real quick, just so just so I can finish things off completely with the Spiral Cup tournament and we can and we can leave Wisteria behind with that with um, something exciting something exciting yeah mm -hmm. <laughs> anyway so we got a few things we're gonna do real quick we're gonna go ahead and turn in the um, turn in the papers back to the librarian whoa 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 that was weird that happens occasionally, it seems like. Go to the library. There we go, Hugo. I hope you thought to bring the books back. I can hardly remember where I left them. There you go, Hugo. That is that. Let's go be a teacher's pet. Yeah. So naturally, like I said, if you hadn't already picked up the quests from Thaddeus and Hieronymus, this is where you would gain access to them. I've already, we've already done Thaddeus's and Hieronymus's, but that's okay. We still have, we still have to talk to them. Wonderful! I can certainly use some assistance. Check in with me whenever you're ready to roll up your sleeves. And naturally, that's where he would give us his side quest. Again, we've already picked it up, already done it. 
uh, after I'd after I'd first picked up uh, Thaddeus's quest line or Hieronymus's quest one of them it was Hieronymus first after I picked up his quest line I remembered that uh, that Belladonna gives you this quest to go talk to them but so again it makes more sense from a from a story perspective to wait to wait for her to um, say hey um, why don't you go help out the faculty? But I've been wondering why no students volunteered to help me. Very well. Fresh meat. I mean, uh, new blood. That's not any better. At any rate, I have plenty for you to do if you're up to the challenge. And so, having already done that, it makes their last line of dialogue a little... A little, uh... Weird, because it's like, well, you don't actually have anything to do, because I've already done it. But yeah, that's fine. I kind of wish, um, I kind of wish their quest lines weren't available until now, but that's that's me. Now, Quentin Burble does have a quest for us because his isn't available until now. How novel a student helping me! I hope I I mean you can learn something. Let me know when you're ready. I have an embarrassing confession to make. I have no idea what I'm talking about when it comes to magic. I've just been using the old Frost Professor's lesson plans and presenting them as my own. <laughs> the students don't mind. Unfortunately, my lesson plans are in my house and my house is in Tanglewood Way. I can't get in, so I'm in a real pickle. I'm afraid of the walking plant men. Could you go to my house in Tanglewood Way and see if you could find my lesson plans? Of course. But again, I really do wish that the other the other two quest lines were similar to uh, Quentin here, where they didn't become available until you got the teacher's pet quest. Which I yeah I could go turn into her now, but we'll go go ahead and finish this. Now where is his house? Okay, it actually is around the way. Did I miss it? No. I was inside. I'm pretty sure it showed it being on this side of things. Anything I can take from here? I'll take his painting. Think of it as... Um, no, I don't know. These look like the lesson plans Professor Burble told you about. Excellent. Anything else I can take? No? Okay. <laughs> Let's go ahead and leave. I'll just, I'll just port back to... The academy saves me a little bit of time. Okay, go ahead and go turn this in to Quentin, and then we'll go talk to Belladonna. But before we talk to Belladonna, I'll check one more time just to make sure that there are no other side quests popping up. Thank you so much. I should get reading. My class is soon to start. That is that. We are good. Seriously. You visited all three professors? I trust they broadened your educational horizons. Am I correct? No. 
We did get a badge for Pal of Pigswick. Complete all side quests. So that is that. That is all of the side quests. All that is left is the Spiral Cup. All right. I just need to I just need to check one thing. I'm pretty sure Randolph is a cheat boss. Uh let me check real quick. Alright. He is indeed a cheat boss. I will give more detail as to what kind once we actually get into the tournament hall. So that makes how many is that? Is that is that three cheat bosses? There's the first, there's Blaze, the first one you fight. There's uh, Lord Bramble, Chester Drawers, and Randolph. And I believe, I think that's it. Because I don't, I don't think the Goblin guy is was a cheat boss. I don't think so. But yeah, all their cheats are really, really basic. Pretty, pretty easy, pretty to deal with. So yeah, not too worried about this guy. You return the Spiral Cup to its proper place. You know, I didn't even check to see if Lord Bramble was a cheat boss. I don't think you. I'm pretty sure he wasn't. I thank you for restoring the Spiral Cup to its rightful place. Though you have proved a worthy duelist, I feel it will stay here. The student you face for your final round of the tournament is none other than Randolph Spellshine. Randolph is my greatest pupil, the finest student I have ever taught in all of my years at Pigsvik Academy. That's kind of sad. Still, you must at least attempt the formality of the duel. Go to the Hall of the Gorgon to face your defeat. Uh huh. I mean, it's good to have conf confidence in your own student, but come on, man. He's gonna lose. Anyway, before we head in, well, actually, no, let's go ahead and head, head into the tournament hall. Uh, Randolph, his cheat are uh, twofold. At the beginning of every second round, I'm reading this directly from the wiki, because they can't say it any better than they do. At the beginning of every second round, Randolph will interrupt cast a version of Cleanse Ward that removes all positive and negative wards on the wizard. This pairs into his second effect, where he, where he will say, You won't last long without shields. If a wizard or their minion casts a damage spell on either Randolph or themselves and does not have either a shield or trap placed on them, then Randolph will interrupt cast a version of Vampire that deals 350 death drain damage and heals itself or and heals itself for half the damage dealt. Now, there are a few stipulations to that. Uh, damage spells that place a shield on the caster as a secondary effect, like the golems, like Dream Golem or something like that. Uh, like, I'll, like I'll show you real quick. Um, like, like Dream Golem, which applies a Dream Shield after its attack, um, will still trigger the uh, Vampire Cheat if there were no prior damage wards placed on the caster. Steel spells will not trigger this cheat. Um, I'm not entirely sure what a steel spell is. I assume they mean like... Um, oh yeah, something that steals something from someone else. Like uh, like stealing a ward spell or something like that. Anyway, um, self-damaging spells will not trigger the cheat if the spell consumes the last remaining damage ward on the caster. And finally, backlash, with, which is something unique to shadow spells will not trigger this cheat. But anyway, so mainly his whole thing is like, you know, Chester Door's whole thing was applying traps to him so his cheat won't trigger. And this one is having a trap or a ward on you so that Randolph won't trigger. Then again, his cleanse ward, yeah, his cleanse ward pairs very nicely with his other cheat to make sure it works. Not too terribly worried seeing as how I plan on taking Randolph out in a single spell, so. Yeah, not too worried. He is a myth, myth rank five elite creature. I didn't think you'd show up. Well, you've had a good run, but this is where you meet your better. I'm not too worried, Randolph. But anyway, that uh, those are his cheats. Pretty simple. 
Okay, let's see. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? Uh, Deathblade. That is a weakness. That's a little... Not annoying. Not annoying, but we'll deal with it. Um, I'm going to cleanse it. Yeah, there was no... What that was, was there was no ward. No ward to cleanse, so... It did its thing. I am going to be hit by a vampire spell here, I just realized. Yeah, you won't last long without shields. So there's his vampire spell. So, negated what I just did, but that's fine. I just wanted to get rid of the weakness so that I could probably take him out here with a skeletal pirate. Oh, what? Rude. <laughs> okay. Um, a vampire it is. Yep, there's his cleanse ward. That'll be a troll. And let's see. This might not take him out. Yeah, it might not. Yeah, close, but not quite. That's okay. He's gonna vampire here. Or not? Why didn't he vampire? Okay. Wait. Does... no. Do pure drain spells not trigger it? Interesting. That's something to look into. I know when I'm beaten, though I can barely believe it. You're a better wizard than I am, by far. Go and tell Master Glenn Deming that you have defeated the best that Pigswick Academy has to offer. Even in his defeat, he still manages to brag. <laughs> but anyway, that is something to look into. Because I don't think... Nice. Because that didn't trigger. Yeah, my my vampire spell should have triggered, because it's a damaging spell. But it is a drain damage spell. So I guess my theory is that that won't trigger his effect, because it's not a... It's not, like, just a damaging spell. It is a drain. It is specifically a drain spell. So that is interesting to know. That is cool. That's good to know. Hmm. Or maybe it just didn't trigger. Maybe it just doesn't trigger twice in a row. Don't know. Unbelievable! This hall will be the emptier for the lack of the cup that has adorned it for so long. Go and tell Headmistress Crisp that Pigswick's record is broken, and that Ravenwood is the winner now. Yes, because we actually chose to show up. And that, for pretty, yeah, pretty much the most part, that is Pigswick done. Or, that's Wisteria done. I'm still holding out, holding out hope that they eventually, that they eventually um, add a form, an expansion to Wisteria. There's a lot that can still be explored here, hopefully one day. How does that feel? <laughs> I can't say I'm pleased to see the Spiral Cup leaving our care. But it truly went to the best wizard in the tournament. Return to Wizard City and tell Headmaster Ambrose of your victory. But remind him that next year, we will take the cup back. Doubtful, but okay. 
spiral cup something to adorn your room and like i said that is it yeah nothing else in pigswick so let's head back to ambrose tell him of our victory actually i'm just gonna go i'm just gonna go back to the to the dorm room <laughs> go back to the dorm room so i can store so i can go ahead and place actually i can place the spiral cup Just place it in the... Sure. Yeah, I'm not putting that. I'm not putting that in here. I'll throw it in my... I'll throw it in the bank, though. There we go. Alright. So, the spiral cup. On display. Anyway. Let's head back to Ambrose so we can finish off this quest, or finish off the um, Wisteria quest line. How was your term abroad? <laughs> Very interesting. Oh, you've done your school proud and showed them what true wizards are made of. Extra credit for you. <laughs> it's just like, it's, he's just like so blasé about the fact that we pretty much saved a, a, a whole nother world by taking out Lord Bramble. So it's just so extra, extra credit for you. Like, thanks, Merle. Thanks. <laughs> There is the other badge, A plus student for completing all storyline quests in Wisteria. I think we also got another one there, didn't we? Uh, something of the spotlight. Hold on, let me check that. That's a new one that, that I don't uh, I don't remember ever getting. Oh yeah, hogged, <laughs> hogged the spotlight. Complete all quests in Wisteria, and we get a gift for this one, a golden. Skeleton key. Very nice. Very nice. That'll be going in the, uh, um, our dorm room at some point. But anyway, that is going to do it for Wisteria. In the next episode, yeah. Yeah, in the next episode of our playthrough of our Let's Play, we will be heading back to Marleybone to get started there. Of course, there are a few things that we'll be picking up uh, before we leave, specifically our uh, death school spell from Dwargan. We won't be able to complete it right away, but we'll pick I'll pick it up. I might as well pick it up. We'll be spending a we'll be spending a fair bit of time in Marleybone. So, yeah, might as well pick it up. But anyway, with that, I am going to wrap things up. If you enjoyed this episode, which I do sincerely hope you did, please feel free to hit that thumbs up button down below. And if you do happen to be new to the channel, hello, welcome, and please do consider subscribing to stay up to date for whenever new content is posted. But other than that, thank you so much for watching. I really Really do appreciate it. And I will see you all next time.